Today I'm going to do a position review on a photograph that somebody sent in to me. So let's get started. Hi there, my name is Laura and welcome to another video. If it's your first time here, thank you so much for being here. And if you're a regular viewer, thank you so much for being here as well. If you'd like to win more ribbons at your next horse show, improve your riding and training, or generally like other horsey related stuff, then remember to subscribe, hit the bell icon so you don't miss anything. So if you're going to send in photographs for me to do a position review, make sure that it's a profile, so a side shot of you going over a jump or and or on the flat so that I can see your position from the side. If you'd like to have a position review, please send me a photograph, thistleridge at hotmail.com. I'd really like to thank Julia for sending in the photograph that she did. It's a lovely photograph of her and her horse from the side without any uh, obstruction of her position. And that's really important just so I can see her position. So what's your first impression of this rider? I know when I saw this rider, I thought, wow, this person really knows what they're doing. And as a judge, the first thing, first couple things that I really look for is number one is the rider's eyes up. You can see from this photograph that the rider's eyes are up, looking forward, looking forward to the next jump, looking forward to the next thing that's on the course, or just looking, looking up, keeping themselves in balance. It's really important. And the judge sees that by the brim of your helmet. And if your brim of your helmet's looking up, then your head is up and balanced on the rest of your body. The second thing that we notice immediately from this rider is, a, is the beautiful leg position. And you can see that her heels are down and the weight is down in her heels. The only thing I like to see is the stirrup on the ball of the foot a little bit more and the, the angle of her foot is, should be turned out just ever so slightly a little bit. And uh, the stirrup on the angled on her foot properly and her toes slightly more out so that she can get her calves on the horse, activated on the horse's sides. But really lovely leg position. If you'd like to see some more position reviews, take a look right here. There's more position reviews that you can watch. The other thing I'd like to point out from this rider is this, there's a lovely line shoulder, knee, toe. Shoulder, knee, toe from the sho rider's shoulders through her knees, through to her toes. This means that the rider is in balance with the horse. Sometimes you see riders getting way far ahead of the, the horse, really leaning down on the horse's withers. And, but this rider is in balance with her horse. So if you kind of took that horse away from her, she would still be in balance with, in within herself and land on her feet in balance. So the other thing I really like about this rider is that the rider is not interfering with the horse whatsoever. She's in line with the horse. She's in balance with the horse. Forward over top of the, the horse as it's making its its effort over top of the you fence. You can see here that her hands are nicely placed on the neck, but we'd like to have them a little bit lower only because we'd like to see a straight line, elbow, hand, horse's mouth. Now let's move on to the horse a little bit. This is a lovely type of horse. He looks like he's in good condition, jumping really lovely. First thing you notice, uh, for me anyway, is that he's got a nice expression on his face that he's not, his ears aren't pinned back or he's not really being snarky about going over the, over the jumps. It looks like he's enjoying his job, has his ears up, looking forward to the next jump. One of the beautiful things about the way this horse is jumping is his knees. His knees are well up and they look very square. And we have to remember that this is just a moment in time and we're only seeing a snapshot of the way this horse is moving and the way this horse is jumping. But at this particular jump, at this particular moment in time, his knees are up and he looks like he's using himself nicely over top of the fence. And what the judge is looking for in the hunters when they're going over top of the jump is that the horse's forearms are parallel to the ground and you can see from this photograph that the horse this horse has his knees up his forearms are parallel to the ground and his legs are nicely tucked up underneath him you know sometimes uh, horses they bring their knees up but they leave their their uh, cannon bones and hooves dangling a little bit over top of the jump that's what i call hanging 
but this horse has his knees up and his legs folded nicely using his shoulders well. Another thing that judges really like to see, and this is quite easy now that we have a still photograph, is that horses are pushing off equally with both hind legs. Sometimes you see horses leaving off of one leg or their legs are split open and they're pushing off with just one hind leg. And you can see this in this particular picture that the horse is pushing off equally with both hind legs. Yay! So this was so much fun. I had so much fun doing this and I want to tell you what I did. I took the picture of Julia on her horse and then I did some photoshopping and I just took Julia off that horse. So there she is there. She's just off the horse and then I thought, wow, that's a really nice position. Even when she's by herself without the horse, you can see, see that she's in balance, right? So then I thought, well, what would she look like if she was sitting on a different horse? So what I did was I noticed the way in what phase of the jump her horse was in for to get her in this position. And then I superimposed another horse underneath her so you could see what she looked like if she were riding a different horse. And it doesn't really matter what horse she's on, she's still in balance. Let's take a look. So there's a nice picture and we've superimposed Julia over top of that rider and in super balance. So you can see that this horse is in approximately the same phase of the jump as what Julia's horse was and Julia's in perfect balance and lovely position. So I did another time too. And here she is again perfect bounce and I did not touch her position. What I did was I took that photograph of her riding that horse, riding her own horse and just took her out of it and then put another horse jumping underneath her. And then I, I took approximately where each rider's knee was. I overlapped the knee and lower leg and just see what, what it would look like. And she looks amazing. Great job, Julia. To improve your position, I think the number one thing that you could do is angle your stirrup slightly on your foot. The stirrup length and position is very important when you're riding to give yourself a, a very secure position. Stirrup length and position of the stirrup is important to give you a secure position in the saddle and give yourself a secure lower leg. About a quarter of your foot should be in the stirrup and the outside branch of the stirrup iron should be just resting on your little toe. You've got a lovely leg position with your toes pointing forward. If you just turn your toes out ever so slightly, like so your feet are at about, so if this is straight ahead, your feet are about, this is 45, about 30 degrees pointed outwards. That would be ideal. Between 30 and 45 degrees is ideal. And that will activate your leg against the horse's side. Give you a secure leg around the horse's barrel when you're going over jumps. The other thing about your position is to lower your hands slightly while giving a following release towards the horse's mouth. You're doing a lovely crest release. You're not interfering with the horse at all, but you can see that your elbows are going below your hand when you're judging equitation. If your elbow goes below your hand when you're doing your two point over top of the horse, that just means you're not following the horse's mouth. If you want to get the weight down into your heels and really secure that heel against the horse's side, start doing gymnastic exercises and even bounces with your stirrups and really engage your brain and start thinking about where your heels are and push them down. Don't be afraid to push them down even more so that you can really feel the weight in them. Really love your position. You look solid up there. Keep up the good work. My name is Laura, and if you'd like to win more ribbons at your next horse show, improve your riding and training, or generally like other horsey-related stuff, then stick around because there's lots of videos here for you to watch.